I'm gonna show you how to make an absolutely delicious one pan veggie lasagna. It's delicious, it's full of color and vibrance. We're gonna be bigging up some beautiful veggies, lovely sweet leeks with butter, we've got asparagus, we're gonna use frozen veggies, because I love frozen veggies, broad beans and peas, which are really easy to get hold of. And the method is really simple. I've stripped it right down so that you can make it all in one pan, there's only one thing to wash up, we get it in that oven, and in about 40 minutes, you have got something that you're absolutely gonna love. So let's talk about it. First up, we're gonna slice up a leek. So what I do is I strip the outer leaf off like this, just get the knife and just run it down like that. So what I wanna do is just show you a way to clean these efficiently. We wash it away from the root, water going down, right? So over to the sink, give it a little bit of a wash, finely slice the green part. And then as we get to the white part of the leek, then we're gonna go from finely sliced to little slices like that, right? Why? Because it's more kind of chunky and substantial. I wanna do it in a pan, like a casserole style pan, sort of low sided. I'm gonna go in with a knob of butter and then a nice drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I'm then gonna go in with the leeks. So we're gonna sweat off those lovely leeks for about 10 minutes. So we've got fresh asparagus. Uh, also, I'm gonna big it up with frozen veggies. So I've got some frozen peas and some frozen broad beans. With the asparagus, I'll pretty much always just trim off the edge of the asparagus and I nearly always turn that into a soup or a sauce. Right, then with this part of the asparagus, the stalks, just finely slice it like that. What I like to do is save the tips to put in at the last moment. So in we go with the stalks and we're gonna cook that down so it's really nice and soft. So in here, I'm gonna add a nice pinch of salt, a nice pinch of pepper, and we'll just let this simmer away. You can add a little swig of water to create a little bit of humidity in the pan. So look, let that sweat off now for about 10 minutes until sweet, soft, and delicious, and then I'll show you what to do next. So look, this has had about 10 minutes now. So traditionally you'd make a bechamel, but that's another pan or two, right, to wash up and deal with. But actually we can do it all in the pan. I'm gonna put the flour into this pan. So two tables or 50 grams of plain flour goes in. I'm also gonna put two teaspoons of English mustard in. Uh, then stir it in. Uh, 800 mils of milk. Scrape the bottom of the pan. As that comes up to the boil, let's talk about frozen veg. Maybe something you haven't got is broad beans. 300 grams of that we're gonna use. Then, but 300 grams of frozen peas, move it around. Let's get that just simmering for five minutes. While that's happening, let me show you the herb in question, mint. Half a bunch of mint, uh, and literally all I do is just rip off those top mint leaves. I'll use that for other things. Um, and I'm just going to fairly roughly chop the mint it's gonna taste absolutely amazing. So stir that in. Okay, so I am going to be not traditional, again, by using Parmesan, because I love it, and that is traditional, but I'm using some cheddar. Uh, cheddar's an amazing cheese. It's full of flavor, and it melts and oozes in the most beautiful way. So 80 grams of cheddar, and I'm gonna do the same with Parmesan. So get yourself a little potato masher, and just mash it. Just put your weight onto it, and you can feel the broad beans and peas popping. A little bit of love. Then I'm gonna go in with most of the cheese, right? Not all of it, most of it. And the asparagus tips, right? And then the curveball, of course, is the pasta. So the key here is using fresh lasagna sheets. It's brilliant. You can get it in all the supermarkets. And the fact that it's fresh means it cooks very quickly and it's really elegant, silky, and very kind of luxurious. So I'm literally gonna grab it like a pack of cards and tear it. And then all I'm gonna do right, is just dish out the lasagna cards around and then just stir it through. This will be absolutely like a lasagna when you serve this at the table, right? We are not mucking about, we're just getting on with it. So there we go, another little layer. So this will serve six people really nicely. So I think this is a really lovely meal for any day of the week, actually. So look, all I do now, because we're done, is turn the heat off. And what I like to do, you know, just to be aesthetic, is kind of have a nice layer 
of pasta on the top. And then the last little flourish of love and care is just a little cheese, so you get those lovely crispy bits. So the last ingredient for a little flourish of texture, flavour and nutrition is almonds. A nice little handful of almonds. And what I love to do is just bash them up, have some fine, have some whole, have some cracked, and then I'll literally just let that snow down on our lovely lasagna here. Almonds, a little kiss of olive oil, and then if you want to, as an optional extra, get yourself a lemon and just a little bit of the zest, just a tiny bit, right? Not the juice, just the zest, will just give you a perfume and a lightness that cuts through. So that's it. That is my one pan veggie lasagna. That's now gonna go in the oven for 25 minutes. That's all, 25 minutes, that's it. It'll be crispy, gnarly, blippy, gorgeous, comforting. And the temperature is at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit. So in it goes. Right, little clean down, and yes, little clean down, because it's just one pan, and then we'll serve. So, the lasagna has had 25 minutes. It's looking and smelling amazing. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Imagine that on the dinner table. Absolute bliss. Absolutely beautiful. One of the things that you can do, which is a little bit of an optional extra, is put a little bit of pesto on the top. Just little tiny bombs of it. And of course you can make your own pesto. Or if actually you go down the supermarket, you might see some geezer. You might not have seen him before. We don't want to use loads of it, but little bombs of pesto, as you start serving this, just mix up with the lovely creamy hot white sauce. Just a little bit goes a long way. So look, let's get our plates. Let's serve up. Let's portion a little bit up. What I like is you still get crispy bits from the lasagna like that. And you know, you get the veggies, but you also get the lovely creamy sauce, which is absolutely beautiful. So this will serve easily six people. Can you see the crispy bits at the side? Look at that. Stodgy, crispy, juicy. Maybe just a little bit of parmesan on top. And that, my friends, is a beautiful one pan veggie lasagna. Right, let's have a little try. Wow, yum, yum, triple yum. So good, crispy enough, soft enough, stodgy enough, cheesy enough, crunchy enough, come on.